But Wang Bamsa still didn't want to let him go. She immediately continued. Everyone in the village said he was a genius doctor. You definitely cannot ignore him. And she punched and rubbed him at the same time. Seduce him with other sweet words. Receiving interviews can also enhance reputation. You don't want to be spoiled. When the villagers heard that, they cheered even more. That's right, Yopi, magician, please accept the interview. If you just say your name, are you afraid you won't have any money? This is a good opportunity. Yi Wan A is just like them. Naive and doesn't understand. Finally think about the good future they have drawn. Two cannot immediately exclaim. If the Muchin occasion is okay. If you go on TV, you will definitely gain fame. This is really good. To hear. The male lead immediately joked with this stupid girl. Little ado go play somewhere else, don't interfere. Yi Wan A naturally doesn't like being considered a child. He immediately pouted and snorted. Making Wang Bamsa even more like a little power. Keep beating and not die. She used the crowd to seduce the male lead. Receive interviews. I see everyone says I'm the doctor. Don't hide anything. Yopi Mu Chion heard that and smiled lightly. Then he immediately pointed his finger at Wang Bamsa. A bit of a rogue and joking around. Everyone in the village says she is my wife. So may I ask, are you my wife? Everyone was scared and cried out. Soja is truly domineering. During the day, he dares to tease Wang Bamsa. Times have really changed. Wang Bamsa laughed lightly hearing that. Want me to be your wife? First, you have to accept me for an interview. Even though you said that. But in her heart she was resentful. The male lead dares to take advantage of her. Tell yourself that you have to be patient and you must be patient. I absolutely won't let this bastard escape. Yopi Mu Chion saw this scene and smiled lightly. Being teased by strangers like that and still being able to endure it. Truly a person with a great mind. This type of person doesn't need to be married. Yi Wan A also very much agreed in her heart. That's right, that's how it should be. You don't need to marry Wang Bamsa as your wife. But she also admired how ugly this scoundrel was. Everyone dared to tease. During that time, in the distance, loud laughter was heard. Ha ha what's so noisy. The person who came turned out to be Ono oh Dr. O. Oh. Yopi Mu Chion also partly guessed it. Frowned and questioned. Was he the one who said everything? About eliminating her pestilence. Ono oh smiled lightly. All credit belongs to Yopi Mu Chion. How dare he take credit for? Your exquisite medical skills. Made him have hope in traditional medicine. Such a talented person. Must definitely save many diseases from the hands of death. Yopi Mu Chion heard that and was immediately upset. Saving people is the doctor's job. What does it have to do with you? The male lead pointed at the cameraman. Ask him to stop immediately. At the same time, we have to hand over the video. Yopi Mu Chion thought to himself. If that video is leaked, even you will have a hard time protecting yourself. Let alone to save people. I need you to help me investigate. Someone to investigate my identity. At this moment the male lead has reached the limit of his patience. He got frustrated and started a verbal argument with her. I also have the right not to accept interviews. Asked her to hand over the video and leave. But she was very impressed. He looked annoyed and spoke very reasonable words. My hand became like that because you did harm. Wang Bamsa heard that and immediately pretended to be angry and said. It's not like she meant it that way. Only blame Yopi Mu Chion for unreasonably stopping her. After teasing her, she still endured it. Let alone. It's just a little interview, not asking for your life. As it sounds to outsiders. They all advised the male lead to accept the interview. Anyway. It's also helpful for your future development. It's really not advisable to make such a fuss. Yopi Mu Chion frowned slightly. Originally, he planned to stay in the fishing village for a few days. I didn't think the news would spread so quickly. Looks like I have to leave here and do whatever I think. The male lead pointed at Wang Bamsa's face. Asked her to come into the room to talk to him. And only allowed her in. Hearing that, she immediately panicked. Immediately hugged his body with his hands, looking angry. Shouted loudly. What do you want to do? I'm weak so you want to humiliate me? Moreover, she even scolded the fool for going with him. The male lead smiled when he saw this scene. Right? Wang Bamsa invited her to look at her hands. Only then did she realize the problem. Looked down at her blackened hands. 
Immediately frightened, she was both angry and scared. Tears welled up in the corner of my eyes. Scolded Yopi Mu Chion for being a bastard. What have you done to me? The male lead immediately turned around, glanced at her and said contemptuously. If you don't want both hands to be like that for the rest of your life, only you can cure her madness. Pointing at his back, he scolded him. Damn you threaten me. Don't think. In this world, he is the only one who knows how to diagnose illness. She angrily turned to Ono for help. I want to ask him to help me. How should this be cured? Ono habitually pushes his glasses. As always, proceed to observe. But even he himself was surprised. This. He exclaimed and admitted that he was already old. And could only see it. This is due to many mixed drugs. Don't say cure. What kind of medicine is this? He also didn't know. As expected of this one sentence of his. It was like lightning striking Wong Bumps' ears. Looks like she's done, then she panics. Eyes filled with tears of dismay. How difficult is it to avoid confusing thoughts? Dot. Even Go Ba Ba had no clue at this moment. Looked surprised. Come ups and downs of thoughts. Tangled like silk. The man slowly chose his advice. Please go inside with Yopi Soga. Although he is a bit reckless, he is not inherently bad. Otherwise he would not have planned to solve the epidemic. In return, his eyes were indomitable and full of stubbornness. Stubbornly wanted to see what he could do. At first glance, in his round eyes, his figure was hidden. When facing him, she frowned slightly. Focus all eyes on the other person. He finally spoke. In a gentle voice. Gently set up agreed upon conditions for both of you. Causing the journalist Wong girl to quietly swallow. Take a sip of saliva. Listen to every word so you can get treatment. Journalist Wong, I want to ask you to help me with something. As a condition, I helped her heal her hand. But she was very impressed. He looked annoyed and spoke very reasonable words. My hand became like that because you did harm. Do you think I will respond so quickly after that? He arrogantly responded harshly, leaving her with no way back. She must respond. If treatment is not performed within one hour, her hands will forever become like that. Followed by a specific exchange about investigating his true identity. I need you to help me investigate. Someone to investigate my identity. As soon as this sentence was uttered, his sound is always up and down. Calm eyes. The series of operations, like flowing water and smooth sailing, made her even more confused. Feels weird. I thought I heard wrong. His mouth couldn't help but open his mouth. Your mind isn't broken, is it? Who are you that you need me to investigate? Further? Based on what do you think I can find out? Her bossiness was quickly extinguished by him. Instead, it's a sarcastic attitude. With a very detailed explanation. Don't pretend that your status is absolutely abnormal. Otherwise, she's a really bad journalist. Not. She was fired early, maybe 10 times, maybe 8 times. And I also asked other people. Oh no, the other end is truly the northern mountain. In the medical world, she can call him oh uncle so intimately. Even cooed with him. This is also not a normal person. She has that attitude, which makes her quieter. Unsightly face. It's hard to avoid having worries in your head. Because he guessed part of the mystery in his identity. This person absolutely cannot just look at the outside. It's not simple. To tell you the truth. I lost my memory. After saying that. Are narrations that he added himself. The reason why I woke up near this fishing village. It was most likely caused by someone throwing it into the sea. My plan was to hide it in the village. Silently investigate clues. You guys showed up and disrupted the plan. For me, I've died once and don't want to die again. The second time, successfully silenced her, stunned by the truths he revealed. After listening, she hesitantly touched his lips. What you said is true. You really have lost your memory. Look at that upright yet indifferent appearance. She hides her judgments and choices within herself. Different from before, if he was really thrown into the sea by the enemy. So, the others affirmed that they would kill him again. I just want to interview. I didn't think it would harm anyone. Suddenly a basin of water was dropped. The splashing drops of water brought her back to her senses. I don't need to deceive her. Let alone if she wasn't so noisy. My situation is so dangerous. So you had to help me. Put the white powder into the pot. Quickly became one with the water. 
She hesitated whether this was the antidote. Put her hands down and soaked for three minutes. Although she didn't know if it could cure her. But she still listened to what he said. In the end, with the effectiveness of the medicine, she got rid of the toxins. Her eyes were filled with joy and her voice was full of surprise. Praise is really beneficial. Such effectiveness is obvious. It was just like a martial arts novel. He saw this scene. Back against the wall. Slowly repeat the agreement I've finished saying. The rest is given to her. Outside every. Everyone is waiting for the results. As soon as they see their white hands. No damage to her. Immediately gathered into a group. Opened his eyes and exclaimed full of admiration. Quickly looked at the fake Wang's hand. Truly, the restoration of heaven and earth to their original form is so miraculous. As expected, Yopi is a genius doctor. She paid no attention. Eyes looked up to the silhouette of the young man. Help me with something he asked me to do. I will do it carefully. When she finished, she led the way and told everyone to go back. So Yopi, what did you and Bamsa do say? What are you asking for? Suddenly a monotone voice from behind rang out. Making him frown. What's wrong with you no do? He's mysterious and full of glasses. I'm just afraid you guys are too stressed. Not good ending. Do you know what her identity is? So Yopi. Doesn't know what you intend to approach. Our hospital is in the traditional medicine department. The chair position is vacant. I don't know if you're interested. No do rubbed his hands and smiled with friendly eyes. But in return was his decisive refusal. Not interested. Now the interview is over. It's okay, go back. No do hasn't said enough yet. Continue the column to attract employees. This time it deals an attractive economic blow. Don't rush to refuse. Head of the Department of Chinese Medicine. I can also push you to a higher position. The garage and money are all small things. But he still refuses. No dude thanked him for his kindness and accepted his kindness. I'm not the doctor. So even though he has more conditions to lure people. I also have no way to respond. Finished speaking and sent the person out the door. Leaving him with a shocked face. At nightfall. He looked through the window and looked at the sky. The bright moon. Behind is the sound of a familiar girl. She looked at him with lingering eyes and spoke in a hooligan voice. I really had to go, how can I not go? He heard it and had to take a deep breath. The words in my heart are already woven. Just waiting for an opportunity to speak. Many things like that happen. I can't stay here anymore. Originally planning to wait a few more days. She shook her head in protest. Sincerely say that you want to go through difficulties with him. I'm not afraid. Is there anything we can face together? I'm not afraid of him looking at her with his eyes open. Rubbing his head and laughing. Made her feel even more regretful. Both of them promised each other. Ha ha ad stupid me. Even though I'm moving out, maybe I'll go to school to see you. You naive, stupid girl. I'm afraid the other person is cheating so I want to hook up with him. Really, I had to turn my hand. Without any hesitation. He immediately joined her in doing childish tricks. Twisting his arms, then twisting his arms. At that time his endless thoughts kept him awake. Why do I always feel sad inside? This is the good taste of having someone care. Old man familiar in the house. Looked at him and kindly said Yopi Soga. I'm old and can't do anything. Now is the world of young people. Take action. No matter what you decide, I will support you. Thank you, he replied with a smile. The atmosphere changed. As soon as Yuho Ya opened the door, he suddenly bowed sincerely. Yopi the miracle doctor begged you to accept me as your disciple. She was bewildered and verified once on behalf of everyone. Are you here to worship a monk? Few words, many ideas. He directly hit his knee, making him satisfied. And did not hesitate to praise Soja that your eyes are quite good. If you know how to work with me, you can definitely succeed. Unfortunately, I have no intention of accepting students. You should go back. He was sweating and wanted to prove himself, master. Do I have any place? Still can't make you satisfied. Don't be afraid to tell me, I'll change it. I will definitely change it until you are satisfied. But I cannot change his decision. You go back, I really don't accept students. He thought to himself. Did you finally hear me talk? Is this called master? Directly opened his mouth and called out master. Makes people startled. My master really wants to study with you. Master, please make it happen. Don't wait long. 
He continued to express his sincerity. By repeatedly banging your head, it makes the elderly people next to them really unable to watch. Broken. Marrying someone with an intelligence quotient can't be messy. It was definitely Ju No Gui who instigated it, no Ho Ri. Even she had a hard time stopping it. Hoja, stand up, big brother Yopi said one on one. It's useless for you to kneel like that. Hoja raised his face and happily agreed. Saying said the right thing, I'm standing up now. Just saying that changed the subject causing the person being called. Saying suddenly blushed and Sa's face turned red. Saying what do you say? Saying who is saying? You shouldn't say nonsense. Leave the sentence behind. Later. This disciple donated beautiful stacks of pink money, making the entire family of three look dumbfounded. As they cheerfully waved their hands goodbye, Master saying 20,000 is what I give to everyone. If not enough, come find me. I retreated first. Then no one knew the girl next to him. Didn't pay attention to the other guy's recent series of actions, but only paid attention to the two words saying full of happiness. Saying is so happy to be called like that. After all the transaction waiting for the desired response, the day has finally come. Journalist Wong returned, along with the news he brought with him. Journalist Wong came to find me so quickly. Is there any news yet? Capital said that, you will quickly know your own identity. When you see your face. Not only that, there was still a gloomy sound around. So he calmly asked directly, what does she mean by that look on her face? Why are you looking at me like I'm trash? It's really the person holding the file above. The hands and eyes want so much contempt. It's scary. She handed over the papers. The voice seemed to carry an unpleasant tone. See for yourself and receive the file in your hand. Their fingers often touch each other. Right away. Her reaction became extremely fluctuating. The hair on my arms and legs jumped up and down. Quickly took the piece of paper. Thoroughly cleaned the traces you caused obnoxious, nauseous, quickly wiped away, endured the strange situation up until now. Seeing this exaggerated appearance made him confused. Can't hold back, scold and curse. What the hell is that? I'm neither. What reason did you do that hurts the world? He said as he opened the pile of papers, muttering mouth, when I saw her still diligently cleaning. Are you working so hard? But then this sentence has popped into his awareness in the present made his eyes stunned, flipping through the pile of papers in a hurried search. In the end, he could only throw them away in anger. With a clear mind, he finished saying that. Great journalist Wong, are you sure these documents are all mine? Without hesitation, when he asked the question, he immediately received her extremely venomous answer. Absolutely correct. Breathe the same air as you. I just feel nauseous. Her eyebrows furrowed her fingers without any humility. Just a straight voice that clearly shows distaste, but also adds certainty about the profile information she brought. This made him feel even more shocked. Can't believe it, but had to roll my eyes and read the words written on the paper over and over again. Cursing mouth. It turned out that it was due to the status being investigated. Is a playful person. Besides being extremely scummy, I only know how to ask my family for money. Every night out of habit hanging out at major nightclubs in the city, experiencing an information flood, a little bit left him shocked to death. In the end, I had to give in to my thoughts. Endlessly, which was in the world before him. Even female beauty is not that close, but reincarnated his client. I didn't expect to be such a broken person. Has now been proven. Why when near Yi Wan A, he wanted to take advantage of her. It turned out that this body was playing a trick. Watching the man's constantly changing appearance. The girl behind him, who was still disgusted, suddenly timidly opened her mouth. Looking at his expression, maybe he really lost his memory? I really don't remember anything. Hearing this confusion, he immediately asserted his integrity. Of course Yopi Mo, the upright person. How can it be like Saik Lang? Day and night, he always thinks about taking advantage of women. He thought to himself. Don't know if it's a coincidence. The original owner's body is also called Yopi Mu Chion. So the opposite is good. The future can reduce many troubles. Looking at such certainty, she immediately did not continue the previous topic. Immediately talking about things on paper. Also found some other news. Even though this document has dozens of pages on paper, 
It's all about how many women he's harmed. But on the contrary, there's a bit of other news. He also has a company and a fiancé. He nodded in agreement yes I see this too. Because as soon as I took a look, he already memorized all the notable information. Still celebrating the fact that he was single in his previous life. Up to now, even his fiancé has. But the great journalist Wong puts on a serious look. Additional information regarding company and fiancé issues. As far as I know, the other company seems to be in trouble. And your fiancé is also in danger. What danger? He immediately asked with an expression that seemed to contain concern. And she didn't waste time. Frankly replied that people had harmed him. Mentioning the two words harm. Immediately evokes suspicious points. Causing him to silently thread the chain. Everything harmful. The original owner of this body was thrown to Wong San. Maybe these two things have any connection with each other. Just speculated. He immediately wanted to know the exact answer. So I immediately asked her. Do you know who did it? But in return, is the opponent's extremely indifferent indifference? Why should I tell you? Looks like I don't need to tell you. Her eyes were calm, direct, and straightforward. This is your story. This look made him frown and judge. He guessed in just a split second. The other person wants to exchange information with me. He asked her what she wanted to know. About this part which made her extremely interested. So it's very generous to give him a little appreciation. Smart. I just like to socialize with smart people. Immediately went to the center. Ask a question with the intention of wanting to know why. Before, I didn't know medical techniques. But now that I know. He heard it and laughed softly. The voice had power as if it was stating the obvious. Journalist Wong, what if I say I don't know? Following closely behind is a sentence that still has no meaning as a joke. But there was a threat in the words. Right now there's only the two of us in the room. Wana and No Do are all out shopping. Aren't you afraid that I will do something to you? She answered confidently. Why should I be afraid? You're very reasonable. The situation is now dangerous. The one being chased and killed is you, not me. Suddenly, he rushed to hug her and hold her down, causing both of them to fall on the cold ground. This was successful. Is an arrogant girl, suddenly panicked and angry. Damn cursing, what are you doing? If you don't explain, I will take action. Tell me that this lady is a fifth Dan Judo. You can't take advantage of it. Don't let her talk too much. He immediately used the silent sign to remind her. There were bullet marks on the wall. Making her sit up and blink in shock. The shooter was still outside the house. He confirmed that the incident was happening. Dangerous situations. Everyone was on guard. She was scared and asked him what to do now. He didn't know what to do. She asked me. How do I know? Heard her confused and scared. It's also annoying to get into a messy mess. Especially the scale of life and death. So I want you to think of a faster way. Damn it, on the contrary, he thought of a way to hurry up. These people are definitely coming to kill him. Silently scolding him. But very quickly he was speechless. It's not certain that Nadu's family is a high-ranking person. Who knows if he offended anyone. Quickly call the police. Is now the time to talk about love? She pulled out her phone and said angrily. Who will talk about love with me? Truly shameless in anger. She wanted to use her phone to save herself, but unfortunately. A heavy cold object fell from above, causing her to stiffen. Hand over the phone. At this moment the pistol quietly landed on her head. Through the window frame. Looked up to see the great journalist Wong being threatened. He couldn't help but feel restless in his heart. Finally. Under strong oppression from the enemy. She had to hand over the phone. The door was immediately opened. A group of bad guys with weapons in their hands. With a neat uniform. Successfully broke into the house. Threatened to escape quickly. If not, the window won't close. Who are you? Big journalist Wong was scared. But still forcefully questioned. And the other guy quickly answered. This is not important. The important thing is that you all have to die today. He saw that the situation was not good. Immediately wanted to extend the time. I had to ask them to settle accounts with her. Are you here to find her? It's okay to have revenge, revenge, resentment, revenge. It's okay for you to consider me non-existent. I won't say this today. Hearing this made her cry. Angrily, he threw his high heels over his head. Choked voice filled with resentment against Yopi Mu Chiang. He is still a man. How can men do this? 
It's truly a disgrace to men in the world. We will remember today's story. The guy holding the gun outside the door climbed in and said all sorts of sarcastic things. Handily pointed the gun at his head. No nice guy. Outside the station you are a useless one-eyed child. Looks like it's true and not fake. Killing that kind of person dirty my hands. Up to this moment, he had to play a role that didn't need dignity, just life. So don't kill me either. Let me go and you won't dirty your hands. Making them laugh out loud. Ha 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 you absolutely can't survive today. She saw that he was that kind of person. Immediately extremely disappointed. Hateful look. I knew early on that this person was that kind of person. Didn't help him. He waved his hand and threw everything away. The burden fell directly on her head. I'm afraid I want to disappoint you today. I definitely can't die. Because do you know who no do is? The change in events made her blood boil. Damn it, shut your mouth for me. But he's still the same. And knows how to make fun jokes. Tell you the truth, no do is her house. Is the head of Dongsheng City. If you kill her, do you think you can run away? However, the counterattack threatens those holding these weapons. Makes them feel bored. Because they have already investigated everything. We already knew this. Is there anything else? He was startled by the calmness of the crowd. They lost their voices in difficulty. Understandably sweaty face. What do you all know? So do you dare to kill her? The answer in return is a message just for you. Don't dare like we dare to kill you. Furthermore, our target today is you. Not joking. They both looked at him with the gun in his hand. Dot. This situation made her laugh out loud. Uttering two interesting words. She patted his shoulder continuously. Mixed with crisp laughter. Is a promise to visit you this day next year. Burn some incense sticks. Ha 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 interesting. It's too comfortable in retribution. And let you, this bastard, betray the young lady. Rest assured that this day next year I will come to your grave. Burning some incense. He suddenly held her hand with a serious look. His voice also became a little colder. Okay okay no joking around with you guys. After speaking he immediately stuffed a strip of medicine into her mouth. Making her mistakenly think he was planning to harm her. Damn it, what did you put in my mouth? He looked at her and explained. This is a tonic used to neutralize medicinal properties. She can understand it as an antidote. After listening to the explanation, she looked at him in confusion. Suddenly a spell like a sentence appeared. One word fell and successfully defeated three opponents. Come uninvited. This this is what happened. This bastard just waved his hand. The guys holding the gun immediately fell down. She was surprised by the sudden change in the situation. The bad guys were lucid and confused. Don't know what's going on. Why can't their bodies move? I feel like I'm being sucked out of all my energy. A guy nervously asked, being obnoxious. What have you done to us? Same question. She also didn't know when he had laid hands on her. How could he do that? But that face only smiled happily. Explain the operations to defeat the enemy. In silence. Very simple. This small prize of powdered medicine was easy to hide. From the moment they entered. I did that. And argued with them just now. No do at her house. It's just wasting time. Let the medicine rule. His explanation surprised her. I didn't see that he still had such a plan. And now the chessboard has changed to him. The initiative belongs to him. Looking at the people lying on the ground. He slowly interrogated the mastermind behind them. The three of you, please tell me who sent you to kill me. And reveal the mastermind behind it. Let me give you a little comfort. Of course you can choose not to answer. Scary face. But they didn't immediately declare it because of that. Useless brat. Don't you dare stay where they are. Let's ask for a little clue. Put this notion aside. He was calm in the face of that opposition. Slowly remove the shirt buttons. Most of you interrogate using guns. But I may be a little different from you. You have many ways to make your life worse. More dead. He took off his shirt and inside were different drugs. With a smug look on his face, he told everyone to choose one. Let's see how your luck is. The male lead opened his shirt and it was full of colorful medicine bags. Wang Bamsa asked what this was. The male lead spoke confidently to the girl. Wang bombs a treasure. One of them can also cure her constipation. The girl blushed shyly and quickly denied it. Yopi Mu Chion who is constipated, what eyes do you see? 
I smell Yopi Mu Chion and you feel constipated. His whole family is constipated. The guy held out his hands. Let's go to the three Yopi Mu Chion men. Let's pretend I didn't say anything Yopi Mu Chion. Let's continue to correct. Yopi Mu Chion took a bag of medicine and held it in his hand. Said to that scar-faced guy. Yopi Mu Chion quickly tell me which one you want to choose. Do you want me to give you a hand or not? Yopi Mu Chion. I recommend this. The scar-faced guy replied tremblingly. It's useless to pretend to be a ghost and pretend to be a god here. Sir, I'm not afraid of you. The male protagonist began to unwrap the medicine. Looking at someone like that is courageous. I'll let someone try it a bit first. And then spread the powders in that medicine packet. In the faces of the blue shirt guys. I haven't had a chance to try this powder since I made it. Can be tested on humans. You guys are blessed. He even said he was happy to be able to try this medicine. The scarred guy said that nothing happened. The guy with dark glasses even threatened Yopi Mu Chion. There wasn't even a bean on the face. Soja people are here pretending to be gods and ghosts. Waiting for the big guys to move. I will definitely beat you to death. The male protagonist held his shirt and asked confidently. You better look a little more. What kind of person is he now? At this moment, the scar-faced guy looked at the guy wearing it. Respectfully, it seems the medicine is starting to work. I'm leaving. What's wrong with you? I don't know what happened. Maybe single for a long time. Suddenly felt like you looked very beautiful. Then the scarred guy came forward and tried to kiss the guy wearing glasses. We can't stand it anymore. The guy wearing glasses was starting to get scared and started saying he would confess. Don't come here, you shouldn't come here. I said I would finish. Bobsa couldn't help but see this scene. Pull out your phone and dial mom. This is so fascinating. Wong Bamsa took the opportunity to turn back. And continued talking. Now the medicinal herbs have not penetrated enough. The best people summarize and get to the point. If I don't wait for your ass to bloom, it will be too late. The guy with the scarred eyes is hugging and kissing the guy with glasses. The guy wearing glasses said. Is you Bok UC Real Estate Group. He told us to come. The male lead asked him why he sent you guys to kill me. The scar-faced guy started taking off his pants, what was he going to do to the guy with glasses? The guy wearing glasses said, didn't know we were assassins who only cared about killing people. I beg you to let me go. I have felt it. There's something hard on the back. The other girl said, you Bok, this person I know. Yopi Mu Chion said, handing over the medicine bag. You guys bring the medicine and share it among yourselves. The body will be free to function. This time, spare your lives. That guy wearing glasses cried a river. Seeing the medicine package was like seeing God thanking him for sparing his life. We don't dare to come back in the future. The other girl asked. Letting them go is as simple as that. But they are coming to kill you. The male lead smiled sinisterly and replied. Of course he wouldn't let them go that simply. We'll also give them a happy next half of their lives. All those assassins drank that medicine package and it was even more exciting. After that they quarreled a lot and didn't know why. After eating the antidote, everyone felt a bit strange. So hot. Suddenly the male lead stared at the girl. The girl said why are you staring at me? Coveting the lady's beauty. But one sentence destroyed the above statement. Yopi Mu Chion said she had the beauty of a fart. Quickly take out your phone. The girl still refused. With the intention of taking her phone. Based on what? But what the male lead said surprised her. Didn't you think that I would help you cure your constipation? Why did you? Feel shy and angry at the same time? Who wants you? Who is constipated? He immediately turned and walked out the door. As I walked, I said Wong Bamsa, okay. If that's the case then it's as if I didn't say anything. Let me save the video for you to watch at the bathroom. Also advised her about constipation. Don't be too focused at that time. It's not good for her to sit down and make her legs numb. That girl pulled the male lead Yeop Mukian's sleeve. Wait a minute. She blushed and said, you really can help me. The male protagonist continued to speak. Wong Bamsa. You and that pseudo gentleman are both equally bad tempered. Clearly has an illness but wants to pretend to be Wong Bamsa. If I weren't in a good mood, I'd be too lazy to pay attention to you. Pull up your shirt so I can touch your belly. The girl suddenly asked why she had to touch her belly. The male lead asked again. 
I asked again if she wanted to be treated. But she refused. But it seems like my hands and feet still don't listen. She blushed and pulled up her shirt, revealing Wang Bumps's naughty waist. Even if you touch it, it's just your stomach. He even threatened the male lead if he dared to touch other places. I guarantee I will remove your hand. Just to touch it lightly. Which the girl cried out. The male lead said to her and then thought about Yopi Mu Chion. Don't move. Ha ha, even this sour lemon lady can't cure it. What do we have left that is the holy medicine? Actually, clothes can do the same. I just see Yopi Mu Chion staring at her belly. Her hand was still there and she screamed. Haven't you touched enough? This position is very embarrassing. The male lead said his stomach was bloated and felt a hard mass. Dry mouth, dry tongue, dry limbs are sweating. He turned to write it down and said rhubarb 15 grams. Only 15 grams of real fruit and 12 grams. What kind of situation is this? He's there beating people again, what should we do? CO Wanwa calmly said this. In short, let's watch a little more. Yopi Mu Chion continued and gave her the handout. Only real form first. 2000 milliliters of water makes up to 1000 milliliters. The medicine must not run out. Continue adding rhubarb to the broth for one hour. Take the residue and put it back into the pepper. Use low heat until it boils. The girl asks if this really works. The male protagonist immediately quotes the price whether he likes it or not. Conveniently mentioning this prescription is not given for free. She has a total of 20 words. Selling price 20,000. She said loudly, damn you, why don't you go rob it? She said 20 words out loud and he charged me 20,000. One word costs 1,000 and you still charge money according to the word. Wana along. With him come in oh. Bamsa is coming to visit. He greeted the girl and said journalist Wong was coming. It was just right. I buy a lot of delicious food. Wait a while here and eat. The girl said thank you to the Yi family, the male main character told. Adu took this to burn. Wana asked. This is. The girl said wait. I'll give you money you bastard. The girl said to Wana. So Wan she later distanced herself from someone a bit. This person eats human flesh without spitting out the head bone. The girl continued. Write a 20 word prescription for me for 20,000. Dark mind. The old man and Wana suddenly said Yi Wan A and Mr. Yi. 20 words 20,000. One word 1,000. Yi Wan A and Mr. Yi this. This is too exaggerated. The male lead said this is already a friendship price. I really want to talk about prescription prices. It's not even a word of thousands of dong. As simple as that. Conveniently mention that I will leave tomorrow. The second day. The male lead was preparing to leave and gave instructions. When it comes to catching lobsters, two people need to be a little humble. Absolutely do not let outsiders know. If that prescription gets out, it will cause disaster. The old man said yes. I already knew this in my heart Soga. You definitely won't stay for a few more days. Wana said Yopi is a scoundrel, do you really have to go? Didn't he say he wouldn't go that fast? The male lead replied that he had been missing for such a long time. I also have to go home to see what he thinks. The assassins have all come to the door. No matter what, you have to go as fast as you can. Wana seemed angry and said let's go. Best go now huh. Before leaving Muchen even teased Wana. It's not like Yi Wan A won't be able to meet you in the future. Don't be like that. If you're bored, I will often come to school to ask about your health. Conveniently help you check your wound. She blushed and said Yopi Mu Chion. Mention of injuries is not allowed. The male lead said Yi Wan A. Ha 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 see you again. Bamsa told him. Where will you go next? Return to your fiancé. Muchin replied. The fiancé's whereabouts were unknown. A miserable woman supporting the company for so long. Even being harmed by people. Said and sighed. I owe her so much. Looked up at the sky and said to Bamsa. Immediate work. Must think of a way to find out who is behind. Dongsheng City. The girl said. This place is busy enough. The amnesiac then woke up in a small village. You're not scared, are you? The male lead replied that it was okay, he thought. The car runs on the ground. 80 years from now, what kind of low-level vehicle does this world have? She said it out loud and if you don't pretend at all, you could die, really. Wait a moment and see how you are. 
Yopi Mu Chion said in the girl's mind as if she had just shown off. Dot. This is my room, she thought proudly. But didn't know that the miracle Dr. Yeop's eyes could be higher than his head. Or look down ha ha. This place as you like. An item used in the house is not cheap. Can't even scare him. The male lead pointed at the room. Reluctantly consider it a place to live. The girl thought angrily. This bastard has such a mean mouth. Can you die if you say something nice? Sits leisurely in the chair and speaks. I'll humble myself a bit here later. You don't need to pay attention to me either. Actually, I'm not picky. The girl asked if you want to stay in my room. The male lead answered very naturally, of course. Otherwise, why would I follow you? I don't have a place to stay. The girl said you want to live with me. You calmly said of course. You can rest assured that I will protect my virginity well. Won't give her a chance to take advantage. She said again. Who cares about your virginity? What I'm worried about is my safety. You can continue. I'm not a petty person either. In my room, you still have to pay rent anyway. 10,000 a month. Deposit 20,000. Don't sell on credit, don't dare. The male protagonist replied. Settle for a place to stay. Immediately took all my prescription money. Her heart is so cruel. She answered the same way, all following him. Hi own wall club the girl hugged the fat guy and said blonde. You missing you is really bad. Always taking advantage of people to take advantage of me. This fat guy is you bok. This guy also looks like he's a young master. Gu Hong Jung. Lady. Being able to be touched by Miss Yu is your blessing. How many beauties want to be touched? There's still no chance. This name is Gu Hong Jung. Another flatterer said Ju Yu Un. Right right right. Ju Yu Un. Maybe Yu's lack of attention is that her ancestors accumulated virtue. You all know me personally. This name is Ju Yu Un. That fat guy despises these two flatterers. Said Gu Hong Jung. Ju Yu Un. The two of you have no talent in speaking. Are you guys flattering Yu Bak who is not educated? This brown haired guy is also right. I'm afraid of this fat guy, no matter what he says, he's right. But in my heart, I must speak ill of this name. Yu's lack of sequence is very correct. We will definitely study more when we return. Damn Ju Yu Un, who relied on his father to bribe him to go to college. People talk to me about culture. What a shame, the fat guy said aggressively. Who doesn't know? Now is the time for lack of entertainment. Something was said quickly. Suddenly a phone call came through. Yopi Mu Chion is still alive. Someone saw him, but the fat guy answered. Being alive and being alive has nothing to do with me. But later I realized what Yu Bok said. He's still alive. Ju Yu Un immediately ordered everyone to go out. The fat guy continued asking where he saw him. The person on the phone continued. The phone must find him. Make him disappear. If you don't die, it will be you. Then hung up after giving all the advice on the phone. The fat guy with dark face Sam and the other two guys asked. Young master Yu, what happened? The fat guy asked. Are you sure that Yopi is dead? The other guy replied that of course we would do it ourselves. Absolutely not wrong. That fat guy said it loudly but he is still alive now. What did that guy say that he's still alive? How is this possible? We clearly killed him, how can he still be alive? The fat guy continued, in fact he is still alive. I don't know how you guys use it. Must make him disappear. The fat man aggressively threatened. Otherwise you won't have a good life. The other two only know how to obey orders yes yes. What should Yu Un do if he asks where Jung has seen is? That waste Yopi Mu Chion. We'll definitely go find his fiance. We did those things to Jung has seen. The fat guy said find him first and then talk later. This mother said to her daughter Sina. Did you finally hear what mom said? I don't need the company anymore. I've been doing so much these days because of that bastard. Enough is enough. The girl replied. Mom, now is not the time. Wait until you find him and then talk later. The father said aggressively to Jung Hisin. Listen to your mother, you don't have to look for me. I'll come tomorrow. Yopi Ga refused to kiss his name. That bastard deserved to die. The mother said to the father. He still has the face to speak. Turns out it was the father's fault. If it weren't for the divorce between him and Yopi Ga. Girls don't have to suffer such crimes. But they have them today. It's also thanks to the male lead's family. 
What I am today is because of Yopiga's support. But I don't want my daughter to suffer like that. I deserve to die. The daughter said. Mom and dad, we should talk about this later. As if he has nothing to do with me. In fact, the company is a one-man business. Now I just want to work. Let's leave other things later. Right now at Wong Bamsa's house. Wong Bamsa approaches the male lead. He threw the file down on the table and said to the male lead, yes. This is the document you want next. What are you going to do? The male protagonist picked up the document and looked at it and said. Of course I will go see him. That's right, you still have to help me with something. Without leaving her wondering, the male lead immediately said. I borrowed some money. And after hearing that, she screamed in panic. Come on, you eat what's mine and stay mine. Still want me to lend money. Since when do I take care of you? The male lead said, scratching his head. If not, she would make a big deal out of it. Right now I'm still in the village comfortably catching fish. Then he continued. Chased and killed by people. She must take responsibility for this. She felt embarrassed after hearing this. Thrust a bank card into his chest. Then said. Okay okay I know I'm really sorry. There's eight. Oh, oh, oh inside, so use it sparingly. He picked up the card and said with a smile. This money really has a place to be used. After a while at Yuboke's office floor. He was sitting thoughtfully on his desk. His face looked tired. So much so that dark circles under my eyes appear. Yopi Mu Chion does not die one day no ya. Isn't it a peaceful day? I don't know how the other two guys handled it. At that moment, the secretary walked in and said. Sorry to the general manager. Please sign these documents. He can't control himself, but glanced at her sensitive places. Then he turned to the side and said. Okay okay I know. She immediately approached and showed it off. Round white chest in front of him. We sway back and forth. Said a petulant voice. General manager. Why are you so cold today? You don't even look at people at all. It's been a long time since I've made up for it. He's not in the mood to pay attention. Immediately told him to go out. Then he focused on signing the books in front of him. The angry secretary thought to herself. I didn't hear wrong. That pig has taken advantage of me many times. Why are you letting me out now? He suddenly raised his voice. Startled the secretary. I told her to get out. Didn't you hear me? She could only walk out with an annoyed look. If you want to chase away, you chase away that bastard three minutes later. After the secretary went out, another person walked in. He tiredly raised his eyes and said angrily. Didn't I tell you to go away? Why stay? No yaw is not free today to chat with her. Just a few seconds later, he was stunned. When in front of you is the male lead and two industry girls. The male lead saw his expression and smiled sarcastically. Ha 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 who made you lack such great firepower. He was startled and stammered. Yopi Yopi Mu Chion, what are you doing here? The male lead was holding the shoulders of the two girls next to him. Smiled faintly and said nothing. It's seeing Yu's lack of hard work. Looking for two sisters to comfort Yu, he was a little short. And asked, sweating, is this your sister? After looking closely at the appearance of the other two girls. Then he began to scream in fear. No no no. I played until dawn last night. Now the whole person has no strength left. This type is excellent. Or maybe Yopi just enjoys it himself. He waved his hands in refusal. In his mind. This soja destiny. Why did the taste suddenly become so salty? The male protagonist said, smiling happily. Ha ha I believe you lacks the strength to fight overnight. Don't consider it anything. After spreading some kind of powder, he continued. We'll definitely recover soon. He stood there fearfully thinking about what he meant. Wait a minute. What happens to my body? Suddenly started to heat up. He began to notice the changes in his body and then. Took advantage of his confusion. The male lead quickly went out and locked the door. When he saw it, he panicked and said. Yopi Yopi missing. What do you want to do? Why are you locking the door? The male protagonist said to him with a sinister look on his face. You lax. Don't want to broadcast it live in front of the staff. Rest assured the door is locked. For a moment, no one could get in. The male lead waved his hand and ordered the two people to come forward. Ignoring the shocked you, the two girls followed orders and rushed towards him. Show seductive poses on his body. He blushed and flustered and shouted to stop. Stop it. 
Do you know who No Yaw is? The male lead smirked. Take off your glasses and hold the camera up. Said excitedly. Because inviting them to my door cost me a lot of money. Pointed the camera at him. Not paying attention to him gritting his teeth in anger. The male protagonist continued to speak more about you. You won't be able to stand it now. There's no need to restrain himself. He now feels his whole body heating up. Breathing also begins to get heavier and the person gradually loses consciousness. He was breathing heavily wondering what happened. The body gets hotter and hotter. I'm about to be unbearable. In the end, his eyes were covered with lust. His two hands violently tore off his shirt and screamed damn it. Those two girls saw his appearance. Immediately looked fascinated. Then he and the two girls grabbed each other. In front of the male lead's camera. The male protagonist witnessed the entire incident taking place. Grinned. Right right right. That's it. Just one hour later outside. At the door of the room, many people gathered. And they glanced inside. Then saw an unbelievable scene. Young Yu lay on the floor. The two girls from before were sitting. Cross your legs on the chair. Leisurely smoke. And he was lying at the feet of the two girls, unable to get up. After searching inside, people just started talking about it. The atmosphere became bustling in front of the room. Oh my gosh, this is so salty that I can swallow it. Another person also praised. Mr. Yu is worthy of being Mr. Yu. When this beat is absolutely not something we can compare. The other person listened and replied, don't talk anymore. I'm about to vomit. The crowd still found it hard to believe. Many other people also had to raise their voices and ask. Is it true? When did the male lead sneak behind the crowd? His face was very satisfied after reviewing the recorded footage. Ha ha after a long time. At the hospital. In a certain hospital room. A very loud curse was heard. Making the whole room noisy. If you kill him, you must kill him. Dot. The person who said this was Mr. Yu. He was just brought to the hospital by someone from the company. After waking up, he couldn't calmly speak out. Curses. Next to his hospital bed, there are two other men sitting. One of them said, You young first don't get excited. The doctor told him to rest well, pay attention to nutrition, and told him to eat less salty food. The other person continued, It's not too late for a gentleman to take revenge after 10 years. Your body is the most important thing. Speaking of Yopi Mu Chion, we will definitely collect him. The other two finished speaking, turned away and giggled, can't hide the sarcasm. Then he told him to please rest assured. Dot. He angrily bit the tip of his finger, guessing incorrectly. Before, Yopi Mu Chion was an uneducated guy. Only knows three corrupt things about women. How did he suddenly have this mentality and courage? Then he pointed at the other two people. Ordered to find him no matter what. Retrieve the video. If not, no yaw will be invincible. After a long time, the other two men also left the hospital room. The hospital room became quieter than before. He continued to ponder on his hand holding his fontanelle. Yopi Mu Chion absolutely will not let this go. What should I do next? Right after that, the knock 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 sound rang out. He said come in. The person outside opened the door slowly and walked in. Unexpectedly, that person was the male lead. Just entered the room. The male lead showed a happy expression and smiled gently to ask him. Are you okay? You, we meet again. He was startled by your appearance. He shouted damn you don't dare come back. Why do you have to hurt me like that? The male lead doesn't care if he's angry. The male lead clasped his hands in a pleading manner and said. Watch what you say. I helped you withdraw but somehow ended up harming you. That's right, my brother recently lacked money. I don't know if brother Yu is free to lend me some. I won't borrow much, but I'll just say it here. Then the male lead held up three fingers and continued. Not much more than three oh, 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 oh. He was startled when he heard it and said to the male lead. 30 million do you think no ya will open a bank? Then he shouted no go away. Look at his grumpy attitude. The male lead sighed sadly and said that was good. Let's pretend I didn't say anything. Young Master Yu, please take good care of your body. And then the male lead added a few words. Conveniently mention respect for brotherly love for each other. I helped you call the security department. Dot. He was shocked when he heard that. He had fever on his face and was sweating and asked the security department. 
What is the security department? He was really panicked. I won't give you shit either. You want to kill me? The male lead quickly walked forward and faced him face to face. Gloat and say that no matter what, I hurt you like that. Go to the police. We will give the video to the police as evidence. They will definitely bring it to justice. We'll even deliver the video to the media. Wouldn't it be very pleasant to denounce my sins? Question mark. He thought confusedly in his head. After all, the video will fall into the hands of the police. The media brought it to light that I would go to a haunted house. After a moment of hesitation, he bowed his head and sighed. I'll give you 30 million and give me the video. After a few more minutes, he finally gave the male lead the check. 30 million. The male protagonist took the check with his hand and looked excited. Ha 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 the check arrives. Right after that statement, the hospital room door was opened once again. Startled both him and the male lead. And turned their heads to look over. A group of police officers, two men and one woman, entered. That girl just walked in. Held up his police card. Then introduced. I'm police officer Sang So Mi, this is the certificate. Then she asked who was calling just now. The male lead just glanced over. Then his eyes landed on the girl's chest. He marveled. Oh my god, it's so big. Young Yu immediately sat up. Quickly explained the misunderstanding. This is a misunderstanding, comrade police. We don't call the police. Sorry he said in his head angrily. This bastard is clearly the murderer. And actually dared to report it to the police. Sang So Mi said uncomfortably to the two people in front of her. Do you guys know what you're doing? Reporting to the police so arbitrarily? The male lead doesn't care what happened just now. Still thinking hard. Don't know either. Has Wana been taking medicine lately? It must be much older, right? The girl suddenly noticed that look in the male lead's eyes. She shivered. Then pointed her hand at the male lead and shouted. Where are the dog's eyes looking? Arbitrarily report to the police to disturb people on duty. Let's go back to the police station. The male lead became upset and said to her. How about we go take a look? So big. Isn't it used to make people look at? The male lead's voice? I'll go with you to the police station. This must be made clear. Look at her. She's really angry. Immediately. Young Yu jumped in. Mom. No 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 no. Comrade police, this is a misunderstanding. We didn't call the police. He shouted at her thousands of times not to take my brothers away. Consider that I pray to you. Her even though it's annoying. But after Yu's request. Then he pondered for a while. And then happily left. With a check for 30 million. The male protagonist walks on the road. As he walked, he happily said yes, 30 million. Believe that. Jung has seen can also solve urgent dangers. Anyone who doesn't meet my wife because of this will be heartbroken. Then he raised his head to the sky. Said softly. In short, go to the bank before a trip. After a while. Finally, the male lead entered the bank. And there were customers in front of the counter. So the male lead has to wait for. The male leads turned to pay attention to the conversation. Between the boy in front and the girl. Staff. That guy asked if so Sol was free in the evening. The girl seriously told him. She was sorry. Mr. Ju. Please don't disturb my work. After hearing this, the male lead thought for a moment. Does this soja want to flirt with her? That guy doesn't care. He put his chin on the table and continued, I'll send money. So Sol helped me deposit this money. Conveniently, are you free in the evening? I invited her to dinner. The girl deliberately ignored his joking attitude. Gently took the money he put down. Please wait a moment. After a while, the girl held out a notice to the other guy. Mr. Ju, the money has been deposited into the account. Just got the check-in card. He listened and said one more sentence to the girl. I suddenly remembered that today I needed money. Please help me take out 100,000. The girl felt uncomfortable and awkward. She said Mr. Ju. He continuously took money and deposited it many times. That's not very good. Seeing that guy's expression getting more and more despicable. The disgruntled male lead came up and patted his shoulder and said. Brother, you can't flirt with girls like that. Change your method. He was startled when he heard someone behind him. Tell me again, how do you have an opinion? No ya has money and wants to flirt with girls, that's fine with me. How do you manage? The male protagonist was mocked and said with a black face. Hold tens of thousands of dong here. 
Don't you feel embarrassed? He heard. Self-love pulled out the savings book, smashed the girl's desk, and then pointed his finger at the male lead and scolded him. This savings number has 1 million inside and can also be withdrawn. Let Soja take a look to see what the money is. The male lead sighed and said to him in boredom, I also see some of your money. It's not like forcing me to kick you. After saying that, the male lead took out a check and put it on the table and said with a smirk to the other guy, your four eyes see clearly. How much is this check? He was startled. It seemed like electricity flowed through his body. He was shocked and said 3 3 oh, oh. Felt like everything was a bit noisy. The girl stood up and said softly, you too, this place is a bank so don't raise your voice. Then the girl continued her work. After a while the girl handed out a few stacks of brand new money. Said towards the other person. Mr. Ju, this is 300. 000. Please accept. He turned to the main male side. Smiling and pointing at the pile of money. Who knows if that check is fake or not. Look at this, this is real money. He was scared. Continued to mock. Soja, do you look like you have a lot of money? Then suddenly a gunshot rang out causing everyone's attention to go towards the door. It turned out that a gang of robbers walked in with guns. The gun leader said loudly. Everyone stood still and robbed. The atmosphere became heavy, and in more crisis than ever. His accomplices were holding guns. Quickly take over everyone in the bank. Don't dare to call the no ya police and shoot your head. The remaining guys shouted, sit down, sit down. Ha 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 ha. The male lead was panicked going to rob a bank during the day. The ringleader quickly noticed the piles of money next to him. The guy's last name is Ju. He approached with a boastful look on his face. Talked to the other guy named Ju. Your brother is so full of kindness. No we're coming. Especially take 300,000 for our convenience. The guy trembled in fear and said don't move. This is my money after that guy finishes his sentence. The oligarch put the gun in the middle of his forehead and said brazenly. Now it's Noja's money. He raised his hand to cover his face, extremely scared. It's your money again. The male lead immediately approached and gave a like sign. Praise that oligarch. Luckily you did very well. The ringleader suddenly asked. Aren't you afraid? The male lead seemed calm and spoke to the ringleader. You are also looking for wealth. It's not about killing people either. The bank is not open at our house, so we have nothing to fear. After hearing this, the oligarch felt extremely excited. He even laughed loudly and said to the male lead. It means that Soja, you agree with my mouth. Outside the bank knowing the serious situation. The police quickly arrived. A policeman turned on the loudspeaker outside and said. People inside listen carefully. You are surrounded, quickly surrender. The ringleader glanced out the door. Seeing the scene outside, he gritted his teeth in frustration. I didn't expect the police to come so quickly. After speaking, he smiled sinisterly and said to the male lead. Soja, I'm afraid you have to be my hostage once. Ignore the gun of the talking head on your face. The male lead still spoke calmly. I say is the brother stupid? Chooses you as his heart. What does choosing me with this big liver mean in my opinion? After that, the male lead pondered for a moment. And then pointed to the surname Jew. Sounds like this kind of weakness is the right choice. The last name is Ju. After hearing the male lead speak, he was startled. Trembling Seven said, Damn what do you mean? Why are you pointing at me? Who are you talking about? The ringleader immediately pointed his gun at Ju. The guy named Ju stood still, not daring to say another word. The ringleader said to the male protagonist, You can go out. This place is none of your business. Thinking at the same time, this soja doesn't feel right. It looks very dangerous. A few seconds later, outside the bank, the police arrived in large numbers. Car horns blared loudly throughout the street. A police officer quickly discovered it. Pointing in the direction of the bank door, he said, Look quickly, look over there. All the police, including the police officer sang so me from earlier. The policeman from earlier continued. Someone walks out in front of the girl's gun barrel. Dot. It's the male protagonist walking out. Raise your hands up high and say. Don't shoot, it's my heart, don't shoot. The police officer asked what were you. Then, she loudly ordered the police around her. So, when I didn't see him for a while, he dared to rob a bank. 
Recapture. Two policemen quickly rushed to hold the male protagonist. The male lead panicked and said hoo hoo. What are you doing? The male lead struggled and said let me go. You guys are wrong. I'm the heart why did you make me? She walked closer to the male lead sarcastically. Some people in the morning are honest citizens. At noon, he became a robber. Soja I talked about. If I have a prisoner in my hands, you will have delicious fruit to eat. The male lead was handcuffed by the police with his hands behind his back and shouted. Who is the commander? Go out and see this person using public affairs to take private revenge. Is there still a law? See your gloating face. The male lead thought angrily in his heart. This woman is truly vindictive. I won't take you into my hands. The letter Yopi will be written in reverse. Immediately after, a middle-aged policeman stepped forward. Gently said to the male lead. I'm her superior CEO Wanwa. He gently asked again. Why did the robbers inside let you go? The male protagonist grimaced and replied, I don't have any money. Besides, I'm not afraid of what they said here. It seems the male protagonist realized something. Wait money he immediately panicked. Where are the 30 million checks at the counter? How could I forget this? The male lead awkwardly rubbed his head. Turned around and spoke to the police. Sorry, I suddenly remembered something I forgot. Let's continue to return as a hostage. The girl approached and held his shoulder and said worriedly. Return to face the robbers. You are not sick. The other people were all holding guns. And the male lead smiled encouragingly at her. My check fell inside. If only you could let me in. Not only can I collect checks. I can also help you deal with the robbers. She said with a suspicious look on her face. What do I rely on to trust you? The male lead coldly replied that there are currently many hostages. The people here are also very difficult to do. You guys have no other choice. CEO Wanwa stepped forward to hold the girl's hand. Said to the male lead. You can believe it, but you have to tell me. You have some certainty. The male lead smiled confidently and said ten parts. The other girl said uncomfortably to her superior. Why let him come back in? And most importantly, he is a robber. CEO Wanwa said calmly. He is not a robber. As for his identity, you can guess by looking at the documents. He held out a file to her. The girl wondered doubtfully. What identity could that sake Lang have? For a long time after watching, she spoke in a low voice for a few hours. The corrupt and shameless devil. Returns to the scene inside the bank. The male lead walks in, surprising all the robbers. The ringleader asks the male lead, why are you back? His accomplice standing behind said. He must have been sent by the police. What not what he wants? The male protagonist said smiling brightly as soon as he arrived. Don't be my friend, just come back and get the check. He looked up at the table, which was now empty. He was startled and asked where my check was. The male lead pointed at the table. His head turned to the leader's direction. Brother, is my check yours to hold or not? The ringleader calmly replied. You don't know what I do. There's no use holding a check. The male protagonist quickly turned to ask the employee from before. Miss Sosol, where's my check? The girl hesitantly replied that this is him. She then pointed at the name Ju next to. The male protagonist could not control his anger. Approached and grabbed the shirt collar of the surname Ju. Angrily shouted at him. It's fate that you hold my check. It is used to protect my wife. Quickly deliver after that sentence. The male lead feels that. The leader is pointing a gun at his head. From behind, the oligarch spoke up seriously. If you don't want to die, you better say it clearly. Why do the police have to let you in? The male protagonist turned around and said with a smirk. It's very simple because I know how to deal with you. The ringleader immediately laughed loudly after hearing this. Ha 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 brother, you really know how to joke. The male lead didn't care and continued pulling the collar of Ju's name. Soja best hand over the check immediately. Otherwise, the Ju name will tremble and say you. Whatever you want, I won't take it anyway. Even if you beat me to death, I won't hold. The male leads anger. Use your foot to kick the other guy in the stomach and say quickly. Where's the check? The other guy held his sore stomach and stammered. I really don't hold. While that guy trembles. The male lead felt sorry for him. A small piece of paper fell out. There's something in his pocket. The male lead steps forward and puts his hand into the other guy's pocket. In the end, a lot of scraps of paper fell out. 
He was shocked and said no, that's not possible. The male lead picked up the small pieces of paper and looked at them. Unexpectedly, it was a piece of paper from a check. Dot. The male lead got angry and waved his fist at the other guy. Fate would have you rip up Noja's check. Right at that moment CO Wanwa and Sang So Mi reached the bank's supervision room. Two people watching the camera saw the fight. Sang So Mi exclaimed, What kind of situation is this? He's there beating people again, what should we do? CO Wanwa calmly said this. In short, let's watch a little more. Back to the fight between the male lead and the surname Ju. In fact, the person who was beaten up was only named Ju. The male lead lifted his legs up. Use your foot to forcefully step down. The other guy's lower body was merciless. Damn, you give me a check, this is 3 Why did you have to tear up my check? That guy lay there screaming in fright. The leader witnessed it and exclaimed his mother. This trick is also too cruel, the junior next to me continued. Definitely want to eliminate the breed.